You're listening to the number one spot for markets and trading. Market Traders TV. Learn some shit. You don't you don't force yourself to a trade. You, even on the three minute, you don't force it. You still look for proper spots. You know, it's not like you can FOMO in and force the trade. And you go, oh my god, I just want this thing to die. I'm gonna you know sell it and make the market move my direction. Right? You can do that if you can move the market. But I learned a long time ago that I did not have the capacity to move markets. Right, right now I do, in crypto anyway, right? But when I didn't, people always think that the market's going to go my way. You should never think that way. You should always think, I can't move the markets. So what, what do I need to do? I need to risk or limit my risk. Because remember, my trades have nothing that's going to impact the market. The market's going to do what it's going to do. Most people think they can move markets. That's where they get it wrong. They start chasing prices and they believe that their trade has an impact to, to move markets. No, it doesn't. Hell no. The market will do what it's going to do. And it always has. You should remove that bias from yourself. Okay. Most people weren't, would go, I don't have that bias, but you do. Because that's a human sentiment. People, people want to be right. That's a human thing. It's nothing to do with trading. It's a human thing. People want to be right. They want to be right. That's why, you know, like I've been saying for the last, you know, a year and a half, what do I say? I don't care if I'm wrong. I just don't want to lose money. Right? So I don't actually care if I'm right or wrong. Generally, I tend to be right because whatever, right? But I don't really care. Because first of all, I would have hedge against it. So I would go, what if I'm wrong? I would always trade that way. What if I'm wrong? If I'm wrong, would I lose a lot of money? And if I would lose a lot of money, why am I doing this? If I'm wrong, I'm only going to lose 0.5%. Okay. If I'm wrong, I'm going to lose 10%. Um, what if I'm wrong? And how do I hedge against that? It's a human thing, guys. There's nothing to do with trading. It's a human thing. People want to be... That's what you're taught. From a young age, right and wrong. You cannot get rid of those. You've only been started trading for, you know, most people here only for a couple of years. But you've lived your life for the last whatever many years. You cannot overwrite what you learned for the last 20, 30 years. In the, in the next one to two years. It's not a thing. You've learned your whole life about right and wrong, and it's more good to be right than to be wrong. You cannot override that, that impulse, that mentality the next day. It's not a thing. It's not possible. Even if someone tells you it's possible, it's not. That's the fact. We're all humans. We're not robots. You cannot just turn the switch off. Right? You can numb it down as low as possible. But that takes practice. That takes years. I mean, you guys know yourselves better than, you know, me. 
So be truthful to yourself. Do you do this? If you do, how can you change it? How can you improve it? How can you shift your bias? How can you get rid of it? Right? Think of it that way. So that's a so when it comes um, community trading, one of the worst thing about worst things about community trading is that is the uh, is the idea of being right. My chart is right. My TA is correct. Yours isn't. I want to be right. That's the worst things worst thing about community trading. Because it, it creates that mentality. So it's not all good. Right? It's not all good. Of course it's not. Because you, you want to be right. Of course you do. Because that's what you learn. You know, you do exams you, from school. You know, you, you, you learned your whole life that there is right and it's wrong. There is answer is correct and there's answer is, is not correct. So, don't worry about those things. Most the most hardest thing in trading is controlling your emotions. If you can control your emotions and understand simple risk tolerance, you go full stop. You don't even need to understand TA. You don't need to understand TA at all. You just need to understand the simple TA. Simple TA, you can understand. You, you can get a grasp of in a couple. Of, is this a support and resistance? You can get a grasp of su support and resistance in a couple of months. It's not hard. Because remember, human beings, your brain is very capable of understanding patterns. It's very good at understanding patterns and trends. So your brain is already good at looking at the only thing it's not good at is your bias. If you have a bias, the pattern doesn't present itself as a pattern. It presents itself as whatever your bias is. So if your brain is already capable of doing TA quite proficiently, what, what is restrict Emotion, bias. So if you can remove that and just that, you are going to be default trade good at trading. I hope that makes sense, guys. And this is basic stuff I'm talking about here. Yeah, can you uh, record this session, uh, this little talk for the last 10 minutes, Spider-O? Because I think this is going to be really helpful to a lot of new people. Because the most hardest thing in for new people is just understanding bias and figuring out that they do have bias, right? Most people think they don't, but they do. That's where they get it wrong. If you go into a trade understanding you have a bias, you should always go, okay, what if I'm wrong? And that's when hedging comes into play. You should never be in a trade and go, I am 100% correct. Only dumb people do that. You should have a trust in your, but you shouldn't never fully trust your TA. Because mind can play tricks on you. So you should always go, what if I'm and hedge against it. You're listening to the number one spot for markets and trading, Market Traders TV.
learn some shit. <laughs>